Where's Max? Well, he, he's gone out to get some goodies for Al's Easter egg basket. Well, oh, really? Are you sure about that? Well, that's what he told me. What on earth is going on? Apparently, a hell of a lot more than Max has been saying. I just had a very interesting conversation with Asa. Max hasn't been entirely honest with us, Luna. He hadn't? No. No. And I'm not leaving here until I get the truth. The real truth. So when did you see Cassie? Yesterday. And? Is she gonna come visit me? I don't think so, Dorian. Why? I mean, did you tell her that I'm, I want to be with her through this whole pregnancy situation and th th that I want her to know I'm yes, here for I, her? Yes, I, I told her, Dorian. What'd she say? She said that she can't deal with you right now. I'm, I'm sorry, Dorian. You've got another visitor, Miss Lord. Oh! Hello, Blair. Hello, Nora. Nora, thank God you're here. So, uh, did you get this whole bail nonsense worked out? Dorian. Well, I mean, I can't stand being here, especially now that I know that Cassie needs me so much. I've got to get out, start helping you with working on my defense and everything like that. So, how much was the bail increased? It wasn't. I'm sorry, Dorian. I thought it was perfectly clear. Your bail has been revoked permanently. That's ridiculous! I can't stay locked up here for months on end while I'm waiting for my trial. It won't be months on end. The trial is scheduled to start next week. Paul! Hey, Bo. Got a delivery for you. Yeah, it's more Norse stuff? Yep. Let me take this from you. Come on in. Come on in. It's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. It's uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Oh, Nora roped you into uh, helping her with her stuff, huh? Yeah, I uh, dropped by her office to say hello. That, that water leaks really turned that place into a disaster. Well, look, take a look at this place. This is like a minefield. So, how's school, pal? You working hard? Hardly working? Working hard this week. Oh, this week? Oh, God. Well, you're pacing yourself? Yeah, I'm just I'm waiting for spring break, you know? What about you, Commissioner? No, isn't that something? I think it's great. And I'll bet what happened at the River House had a lot to do with it. I mean, I bet the, the mayor knows how you saved Rebecca's life. No, we both did that. Now, how is she, anyway? Do you ever see her these days? Yeah, a lot. Oh, really? Oh, well, then, how is she, pal? Couldn't be better. Do you want to take a nap? You want me to walk you upstairs? Okay. I'm glad Daddy picked you as our babysitter. You are? Well, so am I, sweetie. You're fun. <laughs> oh, you're trying to get a piggyback right up the stairs, aren't you? <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, now, it's just you and me in the house. So, if you need me, you just call out big and loud, okay? But I am so silly, you're not going to need me. Because in just a few seconds, you are going to be upstairs snoring and dreaming about jelly beans. Ready? Oh, here we go. I can see that you are very angry. Oh, yeah, yeah, you bet I'm angry. You know, I have known Max for years. Is it too much to ask that he be honest with me? That he look me in the eye and tell me the truth? Is that too much to ask of him, huh? Well, sugar, of course not. Now, you need to calm down right now <sighs> so you can tell me it what It is like happened. he is a totally different person. Like, I don't even know who he is anymore. He keeps digging himself in deeper and deeper all the time. And you, and you want to know what? I will bet you that he's not even aware of it. Sugar, you're starting to scare me. Now, is this about him buying that risky stock without asking us? Yes. 
Well, now, we talked about that this morning. He told us what happened. We, we both said that we understood, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, well, see, Sugar, th what's the problem? He oh. told us he apologized. He'll never do it again. <sighs> Luna, it is not what he said that is making me so upset here. It, it's what he didn't say. We didn't get the whole story here, honey. Of course we did. He told us that he found this great investment for the company. Mm -hmm. he, he jumped on it without, you know, asking us first to use Serenity Springs money, right? Wrong. See, that's not exactly what happened. I don't understand. Luna, Max lied to us. So well, much. I'm lucky I got your message because I was just on the way out. Oh, you're a lifesaver. You don't know. You don't even know. I've been stressing out all afternoon about this. Why? What's going on? Well, I'm supposed to go out with Pal tonight. Again? Yeah. Oh, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I would have gone home to change, but then I had to take care of Sarah. So. Well, now you have nothing to worry about. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> anything for love, my darling. Anything oh. for love. <laughs> so. Where are you guys going to go? Oh, well, we might go out to eat first, but then we're going to a concert at Bowman Hall. Lovely. It sounds like a very romantic evening. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can tell that. And it's wonderful to see a smile on your face again. It's just wonderful. I think you must be feeling better after that horrible nightmare. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I am. I mean, it threw me for a while, dreaming about Todd. I just... I'm okay now, though. Well, I hope that our talk helped. It did. And you're right. I mean, I have to focus on the good things in my life. And that's what I'm going to do starting today. And I have a very strong suspicion that one of those good things is a guy named Pal Lord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guess what? Oh, I didn't tell you. Last night, he called me just before I went to sleep just to say good night. Isn't that the sweetest thing? Darling, he really cares for you. <laughs> How in the world did I get so lucky all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> so, after the school dance, I told her how I felt about her, and uh, we've been kind of seeing each other ever since. This is terrific news, pal. You really think so? Absolutely, yes. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I guess I'm just a little worried about what people are going to think, you know, after what happened to Marty. Yes. Well, pal, I'll be honest with you. There aren't two people that I would like to see happy more than you and Rebecca. You know what I wish sometimes? What do you, what? That things will work out for me and Rebecca as well as they have for you and Nora. Really? Well, yeah. Things are great with us. I don't get to see her as much as I'd like to now, but uh, where is she anyway? I thought she'd follow you over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was supposed to tell you, she had to stop by the jail to see Dorian Lord. Hey, lucky woman. How do you guys do it? Do what? You know, uh, get along. I mean, Nora's defending the woman you arrested. That can't be easy. Well, no, but, you know, we just, uh, we make the most of it. Well, we, we uh, have unwritten rules. We, we just don't talk about the case when we're together. At least we try not to. And uh, also, we, we try to keep everything on the light side, you know, just as much as possible. <laughs> Sounds like a good policy. Yeah, it is. In fact, she doesn't know it yet, but I have a surprise for her when she gets home. Next week, Judge Hawthorne has already scheduled the uh, jury selection. But that's just a matter of a few days. That's right. That's why we got our work cut out for us. I, I thought a case like this took months to come to trial. Yeah, so did I. Well. Normally, it does, but when the uh, events in question are 18 years old, then uh, it tends to speed things up a bit. Well, Nora, can't you do something? I mean, get a postponement or, or whatever. No, Blair. I can't get a postponement or whatever. I can't get a change of venue. I can't get a new judge. Look, time is short, okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but I think you can understand that I need to speak to my client alone. Of course. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah. Thank you.
So how's it looking? Well, I've read over the new autopsy report about five or six times, not to mention the depositions of Ethel Crawford and the orderly Mr. Danton. He's the one who saw you in Victor's room. And? You want the truth? <laughs> okay. I think it's... I think it's close to an airtight case against you. That bad? That bad. Even if I take the stand and I deny everything that Ethel Crawford has said? It's not just your word against hers anymore. They have supporting evidence. I honestly don't know what we can do, uh, except... Except what, Nora? If you've got an idea, tell it to me. I've been thinking about this case a lot the last few days. And it has occurred to me that maybe, just maybe, we're going about your defense the wrong way. It was 1 a.m. I'm hurting, I can't sleep, and I'm worried about taking something. I've been doing a lot of research lately, all right, studying a lot of similar cases, and I think I may have hit on something. What? Well, it has to do with Victor, really. You know, the kind of man he was. I mean, we, we all know that he was a war hero and that he was a very well-respected uh, millionaire publisher and all of that. But you, you've said there was another side to Victor, right? That there was uh, this sort of controlling, abusive, sometimes vicious side? Yes. He could be incredibly vicious, unspeakably so at times, but... Is it safe to assume that there would be other people who would agree with this description of his personality? Yes, I suppose so. He did have a few enemies. Dorian, are you aware that there's been a lot of important groundwork laid recently in, in abuse cases? Abuse? All right, I'm not saying that your situation necessarily falls into this category, okay? But, hypothetically, if a woman were in fear of her physical or emotional well-being because she had an abusive husband, a man who was well known for cruelty, or one who made demands for bizarre behavior in the bedroom, a man who threatened his wife so that she was in fear of her life, it's possible, possible that a jury might understand if that woman felt she had to take action. Even if her husband was incapacitated at the time by a stroke? Yes. If he still posed an imminent threat or made threats to hire someone to do his dirty work. Let me get this straight. Are you suggesting that I admit that I killed Victor because I'm not guilty, because I was driven to it, because I was so afraid, because he was so abusive? No, no. I'm not suggesting anything. My example was hypothetical. Right. I think I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to, uh, go over all the things that happened in my mind. All right. Well, I'm going to be back later then. I need a decision today. Mm -hmm. Nora, do you think you can sell this idea to the jury? Of justifiable homicide? I don't know. I can try. If, of course, it's the truth. Matt's lied to us. <laughs> no, you are talking crazy now. He would not do that. Not in a million years. No, no, mm -mm. I'm sorry. There's just no way around this. No, I don't want to talk about this anymore. The subject is closed. I'm not listening to another word you're saying about this. All We're right. going to change the just subject. Just listen to me for two seconds. Max didn't invest company money in this Flashpoint stock because he thought it was a good investment. He had already committed himself to making that investment in this stock. He couldn't come up with the money personally. That's why he used company money. 
That is ridiculous. <laughs> there is no way he would be foolish enough to invest $80,000 of his own money in some stock. He didn't even have that kind of money laying around. It's all tied up in the spa. He may not have had 80, but he did have 40. At least he did before he lost it, trying to double it. $40,000. Uh-uh. Nope. No, that's impossible. Mm -mm. He didn't have that kind of money lying around to lose. He got it from gambling. The same way he lost it. Gambling? Yeah. No. He would never... He would never gamble for stakes that high. He did last night. You know what? I kind of had a uh, same problem last night. I had the strangest feeling like I couldn't reach you. Well, I wasn't underground or dancing with death, if that's what you mean. Well, thank the goddess. Where were you? <gasps> I was right here all evening until I went out to the Palace Hotel because Renee invited me to dinner, which I accepted because my wife abandoned me. I did not abandon you. Can't be. Mm -mm. No, they, they, they just can't be. Uh-uh. don't believe me. I, I did not want to be the one to have to tell you. I, I thought it wasn't my place, you know? And I tried to talk to Max, because he, he is my friend. I'm trying to help him out here, but he, he won't listen to me anymore. I'm telling you, he is out of control. Do you know that he has spent just about every night over at Aces Casino since the place opened? Hey, you two, what are you doing having a partner's meeting without me, huh? What? What's wrong? Bye, Renee. Thanks again for bringing the dress. Oh, it's freezing in here. No wonder. Becca? Hey. Hi. I didn't even know you are home. I just got here. Boy, it's cold in here. Oh, yeah, somebody left the door open by accident. So, how are you? I'm great. Why are you home so early? Well, my econ class was canceled, and I knew you were here, so I figured maybe we could hang out for a while. That sounds great. So, what do you want to do? Actually, uh, I've got a present I'd like to give you. You do? Yeah, it's nothing major. It's just something I saw at the uh, bookstore and I thought of you. Bookstore? Yeah, do you uh, want to see it now or later? Now. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> yeah, I especially like these ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. It's for Easter. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's so soft and cuddly. Thank you, pal. Well, now old floppy ears here will remind you of me. Just like this bracelet reminds me of you. Are you home? Be out catching the bad guys. Fine. Gives me a chance to work in peace and quiet. Hello. Oh! What? Gee. Honey, you got some powerful lungs there. When somebody surprises you, you. You, you scared, scared the pants off of me. Not from where I'm standing. Let me go out and come what in again. What are you doing here? You're hardly ever here these days, aren't I? I decided to take a few hours off to spend time with the woman of my dreams. Oh, really? When's she getting here? She got here about 45 seconds ago. And I'm going to take her away from all her worries. So if you just clear all this legal stuff off the table here, make room for lunch. Lunch? Yeah, where well, you think I'm going with this no, basket Bo. granny's house? No, come on. Look at this. I've got all your favorite stuff in here. Great food, sandwiches, drinks. Well, I had lunch got... hours ago. Everything. I'm not even hungry. Think of this as 
Dessert! Brownies. No! Hey, come on. This is all your favorite junk food in here. No, but well, I can't. I've got things. a lot of work to do. I can't I can't eat this stuff anyway. It's, it's Passover. None of this is unleavened. This is Does that mean beer. you can't even have any of your uh, favorite uh, jalapeno cheese No, you it doesn't these. mean that. I, I, I have work to do, oh, Bo. Work. i got to work, 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 work here. That's all we ever do any more. Honey, Lord, let's just take some time off for ourselves. I think it would do us both... A world of good, huh? I can't, all right? I gotta... No, Bo, please let me do no, this. Shh, let me I'll work. work. Please You're let wild. me work. I'm gonna I lose promise. this case if you don't let me work. Is that what you want for me to lose this case? I would like to speak to Max alone. Um, will you go on back to Serenity Springs for me? Speak to me about what? Cord, would you? Yeah, fine. Thank you. I'm out of here. Will somebody please tell me what's going on here? Ooh. What's with him? He's angry with you. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Why? Oh, come on. He's still not bent out of shape about me making that investment. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, boy. That's not exactly it. He's giving you a hard time about it, right? I don't, I really, you know, I really don't know what is with him. He just doesn't know how to let something go. Would you forget Cord for a minute? I need to ask you something, and I want you to be very, very honest with me. Yeah, all right, shoot. Where were you last night? What do you mean, where was I last night? I, I already told you where I was, didn't I? Yeah. You told me you went to the palace to eat. Is that true? What is this? You don't trust me all of a sudden? What did he, what did he tell you? Who does the guy think he is? What did he come in here you and say? Answer me. Where were you? Were you playing cards? And just get out of your hair. No, please, Bo. I'm okay. I'm very sorry. No, please. I just lost it. I'm sorry. This has nothing to do with you. I swear. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear that. Do you honestly think that I would try to make you lose a case? No. Do you? No. No, I don't. It was a stupid thing that popped out of my stupid mouth without any even a stupid thought attached to it. I'm sorry. Please, okay. I apologize. Honey, forget it. Forget it. You don't have to apologize to me, all right? I know, you're under a lot of pressure right now, and you're absolutely right. You need some time to yourself, to work. I don't have to be such a grouch about it, though, and that's exactly what it was, and I'm... I'm sorry, I'm stressed, and I, and I apologize. Are you mad at me? No. I mean, look at all the trouble you went I to. It was so stupid. I'm not mad. I'm not, really. I feel a little like a dummy, but I'm not mad. Why would you feel like a dummy? Well, a little while ago, I was bragging to Powell about what a great relationship we have. You know, how we can just balance work and fun. And then I go and I do something totally idiotic. And... Oh, no. No, you didn't do anything idiotic. I did the idiotic thing. I'm the idiot. You're not. We're a great pair, aren't we? A couple of idiots. You're my idiot's delight. I'm sorry. Uh, do you think we can make up like the consummate professionals that we really are before I go back to work? Deal. How was that? Well, that was pretty good. Just pretty good, that's it? Just... Yeah, that was it. Yeah, you'll have to do better than that. Do I get a second chance? Well, yeah, I think you have to keep doing it until you get it right. I think that's the key. Oh, okay. All right. How am I going to know? You'll know. Trust me, you'll know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a fight. 
justifiable homicide. Admit that I killed Victor, but that I was driven to it. Not too bad. You looking to play a game? Uh, no, not right now. Uh, actually, I would like to talk to you for a second. Oh, sure. Well, uh, <laughs> what's on your mind? Oh, first of all, hey, I'm Cord Roberts. How you doing? Hi, Gary Warren. How are you? Nice to meet you, Gary. Listen, um, do you know a friend of mine? His name is Max Holden. He's about gay high. He's got brown hair. Uh, comes in here a lot. You know? Yeah. What about him? Well, see, the thing is, I, I think he comes in here a whole lot. And consequently, I think he's developing a little problem, if you know what I mean. And I was wondering if you would do me a little favor and let me know whenever he comes in. You're Mr. Buchanan's grandson, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. But that's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> I'm just a good old friend of Max's, that's all. And uh, it could be worth your while if you do me a little favor for And all I have to do is call you if he comes in? That's it. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, here, uh, here's my card. Why don't you call oh, me if you need me? That's a real good idea. Here's my number. <laughs> now you keep in touch, right? Sure. Thank you. Hi, Cord. Hey, Blair, how you doing? I'm fine. I swear to you, I was standing right here minding my own business, but I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. Uh, why are you so interested in when Max comes here? Uh, what do you say we just leave that between me and Max for the time being, huh? Sure. Okay. Okay. Fine. Good. Sorry. Listen, you take care. We'll see you. All right. Bye, Cord. Bye-bye. Gary. Today must be your lucky day. Oh? Yeah. And why is that? Well, you just uh, made an extra hundred dollars, and I am willing to uh, match it. Plus 50. Now, whatever did I do to deserve this? Well, it is what you're not going to do. I don't think people should be checking up on Max Holden. Do you? I mean, every man is entitled to a little privacy, aren't they? I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> last night, Max, or not? Yes, I was. Did you lose $40,000? Yeah, I would guess that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, <laughs> it's all true. Luna, it was my money. It wasn't the company's. Oh, yeah. Well, that's supposed to make it better, isn't it? Where'd you get that kind of money? From gambling at Ace's Casino? <sighs> Just to tell me, how long has this been going on? How many times have you been to, to the casino since okay, it opened? I really don't see any point Just in this. Just tell me how many times. All right. You know what? I really wasn't counting. <sighs> yeah, all those, uh... All those meetings, all those canceled meetings, it's all starting to make sense here, isn't it? Yeah, that time took you two hours to get that water contract to Asa. And, um, oh, yeah, there's your friend Gary, that dealer, your best buddy. Luna, and then there was the manager a couple of weeks ago. Um, oh, and then there's your father's friend that came into town. <clears throat> all that was just a cover-up, well, wasn't it? Could I get a word in here? Shoot, yeah, what? I think you're blowing this all out of proportion. Oh, I'm blowing it out of you. <laughs> I didn't believe Court. When he Court? Me. Court? Why doesn't he just mind his own business? We promised each other that we would never hide anything from each other. No secrets. You've been keeping a huge one from me. How 
could you lie to me? How could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? How? So Professor Walker's getting really excited, see, but, but the problem is, whenever he starts yelling, his, his teeth start to get loose. No, you're kidding. No, I mean it, and I was, I was sitting right in front of him. Oh, uh, what happened? So, so he starts telling about how Napoleon slept down into the, the teeth of the enemy and, uh, and no. took the battle home. No, of course, you're kidding. Out they go, his uppers. No. No, I, I swear, and uh, of course, he, he just picked him up calmly and, and didn't miss a beat and just... Shoved him right back in and uh, start talking about the, the Russian defense of Moscow. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think you make these stories up. Oh, uh, my God. It's totally the truth. <laughs> Even if you do, you still make my sides hurt. Well, good. I, I like seeing you laugh. <clears throat> Powell? Hmm? <laughs> this feels right, doesn't it? I mean, you and me. Yes. I think it's it's because we were friends first. I mean, you were my friend. I wasn't really much of a friend back. Oh, sure you were. You know, after Todd, I never thought I could trust another guy again. But somehow you made it happen. Well, I told you I was not going to give up. I'm glad you didn't. <gasps> me too. Oh, no. Oh, I hate to say it, but... I gotta get going. French class? Yeah, it's my last one of the day, then I'm done. But I'll meet you here later. I'm excited about tonight. Me too. <laughs> care about you. She cares about us. Power Lord the Third. Great boy. Just give up. I'm out of here. Nora, are you back so soon? Yes. Well, I needed you to get a decision. You know, if I'm going to start preparing a defense this quickly, I need to know what it is. Right. So, have you made your decision? Are we going to go with a justifiable homicide? I can't do it. Why not? Because if I tell the world that I murdered Victor Lord, I, I will never be able to face Cassie again. Because I will be afraid that every time she looks at me, she'll be seeing a murderer, and I just couldn't bear that. You don't know that she would. Even the possibility is unbearable. So, I'm going to plead innocent. Are you positive this is what you want to do? Absolutely. I'm going to get on that witness stand and I'm going to tell them that I did not smother my husband. Which, of course, is the truth. Yeah, sure, if you say so. Nora, I would have a lot more faith that we were going to win if... If I thought that you believed me, now what's it going to take to convince you? It's not me you have to worry about, Dorian. You gotta convince the jury. Luna, don't go getting dramatic. Dramatic? Yes. I did not do anything to us or to you. Oh, so no, a, a lying to me is no big deal. Oh, is whoa, that what you're saying? Wait, wait. You're twisting my words up here. Me going to the casino for a few times, that has got nothing to do with us or how I feel about you. You obviously have no respect for me. Of course I do. I love you. Oh, don't you even say that to me. Those kind of words, they're not going to get you out of this mess, uh-uh. All right. I kept the truth from you this one time. This is the only time I've done it. I swear to you, I have never done it before. It, it's never happened. Wow. 
Why would you lie to me about the casino business? You want the real reason? Oh, I would love it. Well, the truth is... The truth is that I enjoy gambling every now and then. And stupid me, I, I was afraid you wouldn't understand. And you know what? I was absolutely right. You don't. You know what I understand? I understand that gambling must be more important to you no. than being honest with me. Uh, no, it is All not. All right, then you tell me this. And you be honest with me. Do you have a gambling problem? Yeah, speaking. Give you what? <clears throat> Actually, Mr. Um, Mr. Hazard. Yes, you see, I don't give out my defense strategy to reports. No tidbits come under that category of things I just don't hand out, so. That much money, really? Uh, Mr. Hazard, Mr. Hazard, I, I have three things that I'd like to say to you. <clears throat> Number one, I think you should go back to journalism school and take Ethics 101. Number two, I don't want you ever calling me again. If you do, I'm going to have you arrested for trying to bribe an officer of the court. And number three, I think you should hang up now. Number four, that was a very good question, Mr. Hazard. What defense? There's got to be a way to win this case. There's got to be. I do not have a gambling problem. Are you sure? Yes, I admit I do like to play. But what is wrong with that? I'm not hurting anyone. It's just a bunch of games for a little fun and a few thrills. Max, is the thrill that important? Well, are you asking me, can I, can I give it up completely? Yeah, in a second. In fact, I quit right now. I will never go to the casino again. Are you happy? Nothing would make me happier than to know that you would never lie to me again. You have my word. Because I don't think I could stand it if you did. I really don't. You can count on it. I won't. Well, now that that's finished, uh, maybe we can forget about it and go back to the way things used to be. We haven't even talked about waiting for Easter. I'll get it. Hello. Max. Yeah. Hi, it's Blair. Oh, uh, 
What do you want? Well, it's not what I wanted, but I can do for you. I have discovered something I think that you should know about. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Can you come over to the casino? Who is it, Max? <laughs>